A media statement released by the National Command Center last night stated that the West Sipic Provincial Health Authority has confirmed its first COVID-19 case. An adult male who flew into Vanimo on July 25th on a commercial flight out of Port Mosby after attending a training in the nation's capital. In Western Province, two of the contacts of the positive case in Kyunga were tested last night and their results returned positive. Contact tracing for these cases indicate that infection have transmitted through close contact with an individual who traveled into Kyunga from Port Mosby last weekend on a commercial flight. The individual is now in isolation in Kyunga and is awaiting testing. A leaked statement from Octary Mining Limited stated that as preventative measures against COVID-19, the mine has shut down all its chartered flights from Port Mosby, given the increase in positive cases reported on a daily basis. In Port Mosby, over 35 new cases were announced as of last night, adding on to the imminent fact that the nation's capital has widespread community transmission. Bringing in the question of why the National Command Center allowed commercial flights to continue as normal, even though certain restrictions were put in place. MTV News understands commercial operators and New Guinea and PNG Air has been advised to operate as normal with the assurance of putting in place the wearing of face masks and social distancing. We have requested numerous times for comments from the National Command Center to comment on the slack travel restrictions in place that has now allowed three provinces to confirm positive COVID-19 cases with transmission locally. Thakla Gunga, National MTV News.